Good afternoon and a heartfelt welcome to the 2021 Recognition Ceremony for the College of Arts and Sciences, COAS, for prospective graduates in three academic divisions, the humanities, the natural sciences, and the social sciences. I am James J. Davis, the Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs and the Humanities. I will serve as your Master of Ceremonies for our program this afternoon. I must give this disclaimer. This is a recognition ceremony for students who have qualified to be listed as prospective graduates. We are not conferring degrees this afternoon. President Frederick will be conferring degrees to all qualified candidates tomorrow, Saturday, May 8th. Mr. Timilolua Adanlowo, Vice President of the COAS Student Council, will now offer an opening prayer. Timmy. Please close your eyes and bow your heads. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for bringing us here today. We thank you, Lord, for giving us this day to celebrate that graduates of Howard University's class of 2021. It is through you and only you that they've reached this moment. As this ceremony and their lives go on, continue to grant them favor, continue to give them strength to persevere and uplift themselves and their communities. In their future endeavors, walk with them and guide them. As they depart from Howard University, give them journey mercies. And when it is said and done, we will give you testimonies to exalt your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Please enjoy now. Lift every voice and sing by the very rhythmic and marvelous H.U. Afro Blue. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea.
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you will now hear messages from our president, Dr. Wayne Frederick, who will be followed by our provost and chief academic officer, Dr. Anthony Wutaw. Dr. Wutaw will be followed by our visionary leader, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Ruben Patterson. Congratulations to the 2021 graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences. As the largest and the oldest college on Howard's campus, you all rose to the challenge of obtaining a cross-disciplinary education, one that enabled you to complement subject mastery with technical skills. You acquired a broad and deep understanding of our society's current challenges that will empower you to play a leading role in advocating for change and standing up for equality and justice. On behalf of the entire Howard community, congratulations to you and your family on this wonderful achievement. It is my honor and pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the faculty and entire Howard University community. Congratulations to the class of 2021 and those celebrating from the class of 2020 as well. I want to acknowledge the parents, grandparents, spouses, siblings, uncles, aunts, and other family members who've supported our graduates emotionally, financially, spiritually, and in every other way possible. They would not be here if it was not for your consistent support and encouragement to continue their path towards fulfillment of the journey that God has laid out for them. This has been a very challenging year as we've managed through a global pandemic the greatest public health crisis of the past century, the disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on communities of color, as well as the turbulence of social justice issues and systemic racism reckoning in this country and around the world. Despite these challenges and the additional obstacle of being physically distant from classmates, faculty, and friends for a period of time, our graduates have persevered and remain focused on the goal. You have fought the good fight, you have kept your faith, and you have finished this race. While there are many more races and challenges in front of you, I'm confident that you will continue to be resilient, faithful, persistent, and successful, because that is what a Howard University education has instilled in you. Over this past year, many of us have lost friends, family, colleagues, and others who provided a source of inspiration, direction, or simply good advice as we continued along our paths. They will certainly remain with us in spirit and in our hearts. I ask that as you go on to do great things with your lives, that you remember them and that you make their legacy the impact that you will have on serving others to make this world a better place. I close with one of my favorite scriptures to you from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verses 11 through 13. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. God bless you, congratulations, and best wishes. Good afternoon. I want to join President Frederick and Provost Wuto in congratulating you on achieving your goal of graduating from the great Howard University. You are now joining the pantheon of alumni who are among the most accomplished and celebrated men and women of the African diasporic community. Achieving that goal in normal times is difficult and rightfully praiseworthy, but it is amazing that you managed to complete your entire senior year online physically away from your peers who are located throughout the country and in various countries around the world, and not to mention your inability in your last year to be greatly nurtured by Howard's on-campus rich intellectual and cultural ecosystem. Although you were understandably disappointed, you remain undeterred and focused on your goal of graduating from Howard. Speaking to you today about your perseverance through what may have been one of the most difficult years of your life, reminds me of what uh, our coach said to my basketball teammates and me in my senior year of high school 
after we had just suffered a crushing defeat that prevented us from winning back-to-back -back state championships. At this moment, I can almost feel my coach's voice vibrating in my heart today as he stated, gentlemen, although this hurts, you just learned a lot about life. You're going to get knocked down along the way in your journey to big goals in life, but you pick yourself up, learn from your experience and get on with your journey. And today, regarding what my coach said to me and my teammates, I say to you as fellow Bisons, just as you suffered and survived the COVID knockdown, you picked yourself up, you soldiered on, and here you are today celebrating the accomplishment of the big academic goal you set for yourself upon your arrival as a Howard University student. The bigger point is that you have proceeded straight ahead with your life journey and toward even greater goals in the future. You, Howard graduates of 2021, are products of a resilient community and now graduates of a resilient institution, which means that you have been socialized to endure challenges and disappointments such as those you encountered in your last year as students at Howard. You didn't have the opportunity to do the things so many of you loved doing over the past few years as Howard students. Everything from embracing one another when walking across the yard, to meeting up with friends in Blackburn, to attending go-go parties with friends, to vibing with peers and professors in a physical classroom while exchanging complex and important ideas, to debating with fellow students in residence halls about everything from grand challenges facing Black people to participating in just plain stupid stuff. To paraphrase Margaret Lee Shetterly, author of Hidden Figures, The American Dream and the Untold Story of the Black Women Mathematicians Who Helped Win This Space Race, when all your life you see Black people and you learn the lore of Black people doing these amazing things, you internalize it, you normalize it, and it completely changes your inner landscape of what you think is possible. You came to Howard with those assets of resilience, and over the past few years, you have been in finishing school, acquiring a liberal arts education, which further enhances your well-roundedness and resilience. Thus, the liberal arts education you have received further enhances your flexibility, adaptability, and imagination about what is possible as you continue your life journey. Your liberal arts education has armed you with intellectual tools for life in general, including tools for pursuing a professional life. As Dr. Drew Gilpin Faust, former president of Harvard University put it, liberal education should give people the skills that they will need to get ready for their sixth job, not just their first job. In other words, you have received an education that prepares you to evolve with market opportunities and societal needs, which will enable you to adjust for jobs in various industries, as well as for jobs that no one has yet even imagined. Your liberal arts education will also enable you to add much needed wisdom to our technologically sophisticated yet purpose-starved global society. As Martin Marty, who won a Nobel, who won a medal from the nation's second oldest scholarly society, namely the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, noted that the closer we get to other planets and engage in interplanetary travel, the less we seem able to coexist with one another on our own planet. The implication therefore is that we desperately need you to remain engaged intellectually and civically to make the world better, especially more tolerant. As you go into graduate school and into the world of professional work, I hope you will remain in conversation with some of the great books you grapple with during your studies at Howard. Those books that address topics that have bedeviled humanity in various periods of history and throughout much of the world um, are the books that I hope that you will continue to grapple with. Remaining in conversation with those books that narrate epic challenges will continue to offer you insight needed for your understanding of and responding to big challenges and opportunities that you will face in the future. We are counting on you 
gifted with your Howard education to help restore the body politic and social organism of America. Given these circumstances, Howard's providential creation and its continued existence as a national treasure represent one of America's best opportunities for healing a nation and advancing humanity. To prepare, to paraphrase the bold observation expressed by our own provost, Dr. Anthony Wuto, society is in such disarray today until if Howard University didn't exist, it would have to be created to address these destabilizing currents. You are graduates of not just a university, but one that is uniquely essential for our national survival. Subjects researched and taught at Howard are also covered at other universities. But at Howard, all of those subjects are connected with the Black experience, the needs of marginalized communities, and the pursuit of social justice, again, irrespective of the field of study. As sociologist David Pello noted, racism has been an organizing principle of the modern world system with the rise of European states. At Howard, you have been introduced to not only classical and innovative systems of thought in your disciplines, but you have also introduced, you have also been introduced to the activities and the effects of racism from the perspective of those disciplines. Historically, both ideas and power have ruled the world. Too often, individuals and institutions with outsized power produce ideas in efforts to sustain and legitimate inequality and present it as inevitable. Whereas those without great power produce ideas that define reality in order to mobilize intellect in a manner that inevitably leads to greater social justice. As James Madison noted, justice is the end of government and civil society. It has been and forever will be pursued until it be obtained. Or as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. expressed it, the arc of the moral, the arc of the moral universe is long but it bends toward justice. Lastly, you have undoubtedly heard of the term, the greatest generation, which is an accolade bestowed on those Americans born between 1900s and the 19, uh, through the 1920s. The so-called greatest generation came of age during the influenza pandemic that killed approximately 675,000 Americans. And the so-called greatest generation comprised those who were children or young adults during the Great Depression and those who fought against Nazism and totalitarianism abroad. However, I favor a recasting of the phrase, the greatest generation and ascribe it to your generation. You, including a global population, have come of age during the coronavirus, which has taken a disproportionate toll on the black community. With the development of the Black Lives Matter movement, you inspired the largest social movement in US history, initiated in the wake of George Floyd's murder. Your generation will have perhaps the greatest challenge to America's onward march toward a true democracy. And has been said, your generation is the first to experience the effects of climate change and the last to have the ability to bend the curve in a manner to prevent climate change from becoming calamitous. And has been predicted, your children will be the first to graduate from high school in an, in an America in which there will be no racial majority group. So as can be clearly recognized, the challenges and opportunities that are currently yours are arguably greater than those faced by Americans one century earlier. Crisis comprised two components, danger and opportunity. With the technological tools and scientific and historical knowledge that will be available for your generation, you will have the opportunity to build a just and sustainable society at home as well as abroad. The education you have received from Howard University has prepared you to assume leadership positions 
in every pore or aspect of society to make justice the end pursuit of government and civil society and to work alongside the art, bending toward justice and the reality that all human life matters in this world, a humanitarian reality. Congratulations once again, and I wish you great success in all your future endeavors. Thank you, gentlemen, for those inspiring remarks. And now Ms. Lauren Lowe, Vice President of the COAS Student Council, will offer a send-off message to the distinguished class of 2021. Hello and congratulations to the class of 2021. I am Lauren Lowe, and it has been my pleasure to serve as the Executive Vice President of the College of Arts and Sciences Student Council for the 2020-2021 school year. As a member of the class of 2022, you all were the first class that I saw upon stepping on Howard's campus. The class to introduce us and welcome us to our year at Howard, and Temi and I are extremely honored to be able to send you off at your Cohen's graduation. From the very first moment you stepped on campus, you lit a match that can never be extinguished. Your class is full of entrepreneurs, trailblazers, fashion designers, models, superstars, and legends in the making. You are the last class to have Douglas Hall, the class of quad before the renovations, and the class of 150 bison. At the time, you were the largest class Howard had ever seen in its history during the 150th year of its founding. Your legacy at Howard will not easily be forgotten, and it's ingrained in the walls of Lock Hall, Blackburn, Burr, and the many buildings in the Valley. Thank you for being a class for HE 22 and 23 and 24 to be able to look up to and admire. I'm so blessed to have gone to know many of you. And when I think of HE 21, I think of my sisters, my friends, my peers, and my mentors. The day you've been waiting for is finally here. After this weekend, your hard experience will be over and you will continue to walk in your path of greatness. All you will have left are the memories, the memories of sitting with your friends in Blackburn, standing on the yard on a nice sunny day, and during homecoming, tailgating with your friends. Be proud of all that you've achieved. Not only were you admitted four short years ago, but you actually managed to survive four years of Howard University. With courage and passion, take the next steps into the world and always remember to have faith in yourself. Congratulations, AG21, you did it. Many thanks, Ms. Lowe. Ms. Rachel Howell, who will receive tomorrow her degree in political science with a minor in philosophy, summa cum laude, will now share reflections on the journey through the College of Arts and Sciences and Howard University. Ms. Howell. Good afternoon to my fellow College of Arts and Science graduates. We finally get an opportunity to celebrate our achievements. Congratulations. I am so proud of each and every one of you. As you know, this year was different in so many ways. From a completely virtual senior year to COVID-19 impacting more intricate facets of our personal lives in heartbreaking ways. Through it all, I urge you to take a moment to reflect on your wins throughout this past year, no matter how big or how small. We are a diverse and large class composed of future scientists, doctors, entrepreneurs, professors, PhD candidates, and attorneys. We are the future. One word that I have cycled through my head this year is resilience or telling myself that I need to be resilient. The structure definition of resilience is the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. And there sure are so many examples of how the class of 2021 has recovered throughout this year. We were abruptly moved off campus towards the end of our junior year, but we still finished strong, partly with the help of pass or fail. And we were stuck in our houses while doing so. HU21, we are resilient. We witnessed the deep-seated racism in America become glaringly obvious for what seems like the millionth time, but I still saw so many of my classmates join the marches at the risk of their own safety. We are resilient. As previously mentioned, we had a completely virtual senior year, and through God's grace, we made it this far. Through all of the communication gaps with professors, 
tech glitches and lack of physical community. We overcame, we held virtual events and fundraisers and study sessions and mental health check-ins and so much more. As HUSA president, Michael and I took special care to ensure that all of your needs as a student body were brought to the administration behind closed dorms. Trust me, we heard you and we saw you. From spring break to commencement, we made sure to fulfill our responsibility. As we acknowledge our resilience, we must also take time to reflect on the times when it was just a little too hard to recover quickly from our difficulties. Many of us have lost family and friends from COVID-19 throughout this year. As a community, we have lost prominent alumni and fellow students as well. Those things are often the unsung realities throughout our push to be resilient. As this event ends, I urge you to decompress and reflect on your victories, your losses, and your shortcomings throughout your time at Howard University. Please remember that each and every experience has shaped you and led you to where you are today. We truly are a dynamic and powerful group of students, and HU21 should definitely be added to the list of the most resilient class in Howard University history. As we approach adulthood, remember that where you start is not where you finish. You graduated from Howard University. You can do anything, and you will because you are resilient. Embrace your shortcomings and hold on to your pain because adversity is taking you to greatness. Thank you all so much for choosing me to serve as your HUSA president this year. This has been one of the biggest honors of my life. Congratulations to all of my classmates and fellow students. Have a blessed afternoon. We did it. Thanks, Ms. Howell. And now one of our dynamic faculty members in the College of Arts and Sciences will pronounce words of wisdom and inspiration to our departing students. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Dr. Bahia Muhammad, Associate Professor in the Department of Sociology and Criminology. Take it away, Dr. Muhammad. Greetings, I am Dr. Bahia Muhammad, Associate Professor of Criminology in the Department of Sociology and Criminology here at the Howard University. I am so excited to be invited to give you all words of encouragement on your special day. I wanna start by saying congratulations, class of 2021. When I thought about what I wanted to say, it was interesting because things started to get difficult. You know, when you have a short period of time to say things and you just want to say everything. But one of the things that actually stood out was when you all stepped foot on the campus in 2018. I remember Students Acceptance Day. And I remember there were parents that were dropping students off. I remember that there was so much excitement as it related to the yard that individuals were giving things out. And I remember that many students stopped me and engaged in conversations. And what was so surprising was that they knew who I was. You all come from a different cloth of individuals, a different cloth of individuals who not only are prepared for longevity, but are focused, are critical, are faithful, and are steadfast. I remember that first year in my crime and justice behind the wall classes, there were a number of freshmen in the class. You all made your way into classes that oftentimes are set aside for our seniors. And not saying that there's any special privileges, but when you get to register early, I'm just saying, it makes it a whole lot easier to fill those seats. In some way or somehow, there were a large number of freshmen that made it into that class and they were holding their own. Those were students that set foot on the campus and on that first semester were inside of the local facility engaging with incarcerated individuals. 
it's not that the importance rests in the class, but more important in the strategy behind how you all were eager to hit the ground running. And there's no different today. There's no different once you all really understand that you did it, that you did it. When I think about 2019, there were so many things that started to happen, specifically with your class. You all put your stamp on the world and on the campus, and it was clear. As it related to ASB, many of you made that experience so much of what we know it to be. Many of you changed the attitudes of a lot of your professors. And I remember hearing a lot of different conversations among my colleagues on the campus about the new students that had arrived at the university. You guys were readers, you guys were writers, you guys were critically engaged in debates and dialogue in a way that allowed you to emerge as leaders. You guys were emotionally intelligent, you were ready and you were prepared. When I think about 2020 and I think about all of the nuances that went into play in March, when we all were made aware that we were to leave the campus and unsure of when we were actually gonna come back. I remember many students reaching out to me, sending emails and telephone calls and just trying to connect on social media and in my DMs on Instagram and wanting it to be known that you cared. You wanted to make sure first that I was okay. And that is a different kind of student. When you begin to put other individuals before yourself, yes, there can be a danger in that. But when you're able to balance it, to identify and check in with somebody before you begin to talk about your own hardships, that is a form of service. That is a form of critical understanding and caring that many individuals never get. You all never missed a beat. I remember that first class in the summer it was summer session of 2020. And students had so many questions about what was going on, but guess what? They were registered for the class. They did all of the assignments and get this. They kept their cameras on in the Zoom. They wanted it to be known and they wanted to be seen. And it was so amazing how many of you all still dressed up and got fly like you would on the campus. Many of the students said, look, this is my junior year. It doesn't matter what is going on. I'm going to look fly, even if it means in the Zoom room. I just want to say thank you. I just want you to know that I see you, that I understand where you're coming from, that I understand where you desire to go, and I am here to serve as a support. In my classrooms, I motivate individuals beyond belief. Why? Because that energy is needed in the world that we currently live in. You have been trained and you are ready for the world to welcome you. Many individuals feel that, you know, after their matriculation of their undergraduate degree, they just want to kick their feet up and it's just over. And although I'm saying congratulations, I am also saying get ready, get set, and go. Make sure that you move forward with a plan and with a strategy. The same way that you had, you know, your grids and you were lining out what you had to do freshman year, sophomore, junior, and senior year, life does not change in the way that you can map it out and you can plan it because we all know that God is the best of planners. And as long as you have that plan, it allows you to take that one step forward in faith. Always have a strategy and always have a plan. I appreciate that many of you showed up on time for your classes. I appreciate that you all continue to matriculate semester online, semester online, and even dealing with the elephant in the Zoom, the injustices that we saw playing themselves out right in front of us the realities of pandemic. 
You all became teachers and instructors in your own family and in your own homes. In the same way during pandemic that you shared your lectures by sitting in the living room on your laptops and on your iPads and even sometimes on your phone and shared that lecture live with your families and with your younger siblings, that is what life is about. Sharing. Here at the Howard University, we pride ourselves on truth and on service. And a lot of the times people say it and it becomes something that just kind of rolls off of your mouth, but I need it to be in your heart. I need it to be in your soul because now more than ever, we must be united and we must come together as one. Howard University is your family and make sure that you are reminded to always give back. Many individuals say to me, Doc, once I get into my career, I'm gonna, you know, donate and give X, Y, and Z to the university. I'm gonna even have my name on one of the buildings. Why wait? Today is the day that you should start giving back. Contact the development office. Tell them that I sent you, Mr. David Bennett. Create the scholarships that you wanna see for those individuals that come behind you. Never forget about where you come from. There are individuals that are thirsty and that are dying for knowledge. And you have many years of it. You not only know how to speak for yourself, but you also can write for yourself. That is an important concept that many individuals don't have. There are individuals in high schools all across the nation that are suffering in silence and not able to find the proper rhetoric or words to be able to describe what they feel. Help somebody identify their narrative because now you know yours. This is a chapter of a larger story that you will tell through your actions to the world. And I'm watching and I am excited because I know that each and every one of you has a contribution and a stamp to place on this world. Many individuals say out of a class, you may have five individuals that are gonna be phenomenal. Cut it right there. Each and every one of you are gonna be phenomenal and fabulous. Why? Because you are already that. You are already cut from that cloth. When I think about all that I've had the opportunity to accomplish at the Howard University, guess what? Couldn't have done it without you. Wouldn't have wanted to do it without you. Going into the prisons with many of you to change the lives of individuals behind the wall has been phenomenal. Working with you all in virtual classrooms with high school students in Title I districts was absolutely phenomenal. One of the things that I want you to always remember is that you don't need a class, you don't need a curriculum, you don't need a syllabus, and you don't need an instructor to be able to give you the orders. You are the boss now. You have graduated to that place. If you're going on for your master's or your PhD or you're going into a career, congratulations. Make sure that you take an opportunity to reflect. Print out your unofficial transcript. Look at all of the classes that you've taken. Look at all of the instructors that you engaged and be reminded of the information that you regurgitated and gave right back and be reminded about that information that you read about or you learned about that. Change the core of who you are. That is information that you wanna hold on and you wanna also give back. Be reminded that you can always serve as a guest lecturer in any of your instructor's classes. That any of the occupations and careers that you go into, you can reach back and give internships to groups of students. You can raise money for your beloved university just because. It doesn't have to be a special occasion. And you can give unconditionally because of the love that you have and because you bleed blue. It has been an honor to serve as your instructor over your matriculation, and I pray that you are not a stranger. That you come back for refresher courses, sit in on a couple of classes, be reminded of what it means to have these critical debates. 
what it means to be an academician, to be in the academy, to be of the cloth of the intellectuals, but also be reminded of the hard knocks. Never forget about where you come from. Don't forget about your villages, your islands, your continents, your states, your districts, and everything else in between. It is a lot to remember, but you can do it. All I'm basically saying is congratulations, you all. You deserve every single piece of this excitement of this day. You did it, and there's so much more to do. Thank you so much for spending time at Howard University, and I just want to put something in the air for you <laughs> because this is a celebration. Yes. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. You did it. Peace and blessings. Love always. Take care of yourself and be reminded that self-care is radical. Peace and blessings. Awesome, Dr. Mohammed. Thank you. And for your listening pleasure, here's Afro Blue again with It's a Matter of Pride. When I think about the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, I think of the wonder of the human spirit, the freedom to be. It's a matter of pride when we want to be free, and we want to decide who our hero should be. Thank you. 
Every graduating class at Howard University and in the College of Arts and Sciences is impressive, but each year has its own group of exceedingly gifted and talented students. Among the members of this class, for example, there are 23 students who will graduate with a perfect 4.0 GPA, while 84 students earned GPAs ranging from 3.90 to 3.99. Equally impressive and astounding is that approximately 400 members of this class of approximately 700 students will have either cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude stamped on your official transcripts. On Tuesday evening, I attended the induction ceremony of Phi Beta Kappa, the oldest academic honor society in the United States, which requires a minimum grade point average of 3.75. 46 of your classmates were inducted, and nine of them were double majors. I am going to give you a moment to applaud that right now. While all of you may not receive university honors, many of you have achieved in many other areas. Participation in life-changing short or long-term study abroad programs around the globe, required or non-required internships or externships, one of your classmates reported that, having had dreams of taking my education across the globe, I embarked on a year-long voyage abroad for my junior year on an academic journey that spanned nine countries. This summa cum laude graduate is headed to the law school of her choice in the fall. Many of you have been offered employment at prestigious agencies and institutions while a good many of you have been accepted into rigorous graduate and professional degree programs, including at Howard University. You are indeed a class that is on the road to extraordinary achievements. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have been waiting for. No, we're not going to serve you lunch and drinks. We are at the moment in the program where we recognize and honor individually members of the magnificent class of 2021. Note that summer 2020 and fall 2020 graduates are being recognized this afternoon as well. As Associate Dean for the Humanities, I congratulate your achievements and ask that you remember these words by Georgia Douglas Johnson. Your world is as big as you make it. Carry on. In the Division of the Humanities, we begin with the Department of English, 
chaired by Dr. Yasmin Degut. Dr. Degut. I'm Yasmin Degut. I'm the acting chair of the Department of English, and I'm here to congratulate the class of 2021 and the English majors in that class. We know that you will live the legacy that is Howard University. Congratulations to the following. Devin S. Bakewell. Sachelle C. Carter. Joycelyn M. Farmer. Kimuel Farmer. Kendall C. Fletcher. Jalisa Goodwin. Alexandra Michelle Harmon. Caitlin Aaliyah Harris. Lauren Simone Holly. Riera Janine Hollis. Ijoma Igiamachi. Nadira R.B. Jamerson. Shade S. Johnson. Brianna Littlejohn. Xavier Martin. Naomi V. Merlane. Gabrielle Del Carmen Montgomery. Mia M. Morales. Esther Okosi. Savannah N. Parker. Stephanie M. Reed. Hydea Scott Riley. Josephine Schreier. Samad A. Smith. And Madison Jewel DeBeau. Next is the Department of Interdisciplinary Studies, chaired by Dr. Lloyd Sloan. Hello, I'm Lloyd Sloan, chair of the Department of Interdisciplinary Studies. Good afternoon and welcome to this year's graduating students, families, and friends. I'm honored and proud to bring you welcome from the Department of Interdisciplinary Studies. This department has six major concentrations, including bioethics, community development, environmental studies and sciences, humanities, ancient and modern, and environmental affairs. We will recognize graduates from many of those majors here today. Please then allow me to introduce our graduates and their major concentrations and honors were available. Ilana Nazira Akil, International Affairs with a double major in Spanish, summa cum laude. Alyssa Danielle Asmi, Bioethics. Jordan Ashley Sharon Barnes, Community Development. Summa cum laude. Darian M. Branch, Bioethics, cum laude. James O. Cheek, Environmental Studies. Courtney Sophia Cooper, Environmental Studies. Kwame K. Crawford, International Affairs. Janetta Dondra Davis, Bioethics. Tyra Alyssa Edwards, International Affairs. Adriana Ellis, Environmental Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Nika Shea, Jasmine Graham, 
bioethics. Nadia M. P. Green, International Affairs. Summa cum laude. Naila Hale, International Affairs. Rihanna Chene Lewis, Bioethics, Cum Laude. Ebony Michelle Major, Bioethics, Cum Laude. Derricka M. Mann, Community Development, Magna Cum Laude. Darrell Moon, International Affairs. Kane K. Nesengani, International Affairs, the double major in Spanish. Summa cum laude. Tatiana Charlotte Seeley, International Affairs. Lauren Ashley Stewart, International Affairs, Summa Cum Laude. Cecily Nana Tujan, International Affairs, Magnum Cum Laude. Ashley Marie Tassana, International Affairs, Magna Cum Laude. Dupree O. Walker, International Affairs with a double major in Spanish. Summa Cum Laude. Venerius L. Williams, Environmental Studies, Magna Cum Laude. I thank you all for recognizing and honoring these exceptional students and fantastic people. Congratulations to all of our Howard graduates. Have a great day. Dr. Davis. And now the Department of Philosophy, chaired by Dr. Jacoby Carter. Dr. Carter. Greetings. I'm Dr. Jacoby Adishi Carter, chair of the Department of Philosophy here at Howard University. The 2021 graduating class is composed entirely of excellent young female scholars, all of whom are graduating with honors before they go on to pursue graduate studies at elite institutions, legal internships at national firms, and employment at policy foundations in the DC area. Please join me as I call the names of the 2021 philosophy department graduates. Zaire. Bartholomew, Cameron Elise Clanton, Natalia Deshay Davis, Nina Logan Grant, Anase Omoyeni, Lanai Taylor Huddleston, Jada Aliyah Whaley. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates. And now to the Department of World Languages and Cultures, chaired by Dr. Leonard Muaka. Dr. Muaka, take it away. Congratulations, class of 2021. Our majors in French and Spanish. We are very proud of you. Ilana Akil, Spanish major. Tony Anthony. Spanish major. Donovan Judah Carter, Spanish major. Mali Delani Ford, Spanish major. Lauren Gale, French major. Brittany Goddard, Spanish major. 
Kony Nesengani, Spanish major. Justine Alexandra Rainford, Spanish major. Dupree Walker, Spanish major. Gianni Cutter Whiteside, Spanish major. Once again, all the best in your future careers. Congratulations. Dr. Kim Lewis, Associate Dean for the Natural Sciences, will congratulate the prospective graduates in that division. Dr. Lewis. Congratulations. I am Dr. Kim Michelle Lewis, Associate Dean of Research, Graduate Programs in Natural Sciences. You have made it across the finish line. You did it. This is one of the most important moments in your academic and professional career. No one will ever be able to take this moment away from you. This is your moment. Own it. Congratulations and best wishes. Thanks, Dr. Lewis. And now the Department of Biology, chaired by Dr. Mildred Pointer. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Congratulations to all of you on successfully completing the requirements for a bachelor's degree in biology. You stayed focused, completed the assignments, and achieved the outcome of being graduates of the Mecca, Howard University. Because of this, we are confident you all will go for it and do even greater things. Be change agents for improving global health and well-being and achieve the greatness of a Howard graduate. So at this time, Dr. Merritt McKenna and Dr. Broderick Aribo will introduce to you the graduates from the Department of Biology. Oh, you know what? Let's go back here. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Congratulations to all of you on successfully completing the requirements for a bachelor's degree in biology. You stayed focused, completed the assignments, and achieved the outcome of being a graduate of the Mecca Howard University. Because of this, we are confident you will go forth and do even greater things. Be change agents for, improve, for improving global health and well being and achieve the greatness of a Howard graduate. So, at this time, Dr. Mary McKenna and Dr. Broderick Arivo will introduce to you the graduates from the department of biology. Latanya M. Aaron, Brooklyn, New York. Amani Mohammed Abdurrahman, Dallas, Texas. Naja S. Abdu, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ashley A. Achanye, Union, New Jersey. Anjola Alua Adegboy, Brooklyn, New York. Comfort Yatunde Adegboy, Lagos, Nigeria. Ife Alua Kukisi Adajurin. Lagos, Nigeria. Beloved Adenuga, 
Sykesville, Maryland. Alexandria Olafunke Adigan, Houston, Texas. Mezgana Z. Edmasu, Novato, California. Alua Tosin O. Aluko, Waxhaw, North Carolina. Aliyah Kimberly Anderson, North Miami Beach, Florida. Kevin Aninta. Ryan A. Armont, Augusta, Georgia. Keila Bakari, Nashville, Tennessee. Kaya Baker Adele, Washington, DC. Nicole J. Bailey. Miramar, Florida. Michelle Basden. Naima Batson, Dallas, Texas. Amira L. Battle, Phoenix, Arizona. Diavion I. Beckford. Washington, D.C. Michaela Bennett. Sydney Sky Boney. Hagerstown, Maryland. Taylor Bordelt, Atlanta, Georgia. Shannon S. Boxhill, Bridgetown, Barbados. Aaliyah N. Boyce, Barbados. Jordan Britton, Fishkill, New York. Noel L. Buchanan, Missouri City, Texas. Zoe M. Bright, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Nina C. Brown, Marietta, Georgia. Taj A. Butler, Harrisburg, North Carolina. Danae Byer, Port of Spain. Kalande Casamajor, Silver Spring, Maryland. Angelica E. Carr, Miami, Florida. Malik A. Chenault, Atlanta, Georgia. Ezene J. Chukwocha, Bowie, Maryland. Cinnamon C. Colebrook, Freeport, Grand Bahamas. Rayanna Cook, Germantown, Maryland. Chance A. Davenport Mills, Johns Creek, Georgia. Daniel C. Davis, Washington, D.C. Maya Janae Delgado, Nashville, Tennessee. Jalen N. Dickens, Northfield, Ohio. Jade Imani Lee Dickinson, Long Island, New York. Sydney Anne Marie Dixon. Spartanburg, South Carolina. Eden 
M. Dodds, Oakland, California. Dominique R. Douglas, Sunrise, Florida. Ariel S. Downs, St. Joseph, Trinidad and Tobago. Desiree A. Duncan, Lebanon, Ohio. Amon Ephraim, Silver Spring, Maryland. Osagi I. Ekwe, Columbia, South Carolina. Adaora S. Equinife, Chicago, Illinois. Ahab H. Elhag, Boston, Massachusetts. Shuhab E. Elhag, Alexandria, Virginia. Amor D'Angelo Joel Elliott, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Imani Elliott, Novi, Michigan. Shalom B. Entner, Baltimore, Maryland. Jana Ernest, St. Lucia. Jaslyn Estille Sever, Roselle, New Jersey. Dante D. Ewell, Frisco, Texas. Kimberly N. Fennin, Atlanta, Georgia. Robert Benson Ferguson, Jr., Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Jaquela Folarin Hines, Florissant, Missouri. Jackson D. Fuller, Charlotte, North Carolina. Juby Mariam George, Silver Spring, Maryland. Itealua Kishi H. Gamu, Baltimore, Maryland. Trinity Ayana Gibbs, Kissimmee, Florida. Ganiat A. Giwa, Greenbelt, Maryland. Adia Preston Gomes, Jacksonville, Florida. Tanisha J. Gray, Fort Washington, Maryland. Brenna C. Hairston, Seattle, Washington. Kia K. Hagley, Trinidad and Tobago. Brittany A. Ham, White Plains, New York. Jazid Z. Hancock, Brooklyn, New York. Maurice Henderson, Chicago, Illinois. Brianna Hernandez. Dre Hilson. Shelby H. Hodges, Waldorf, Maryland. Ruth Efinye Iwalumo, Lagos, Nigeria. Jalen Jean-Baptiste, St. Croix, Virgin Islands. Janita A. Joe, Leonardtown, Maryland. Lauren N. Jackson, Pasadena, California. Amber G. James, 
Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Coralie Jean Mary, Washington, D.C. Corey A. Jefferson. Ambria P. Johnson, Chicago, Illinois. David Lee Johnson the Fourth, Carmel, Indiana. Destiny D. Johnson, Cleveland, Ohio. Gregory B. Johnson, Jr., Sicklerville, New Jersey. Destiny P. Jones, Birmingham, Alabama. Jaden T. Jones, South Korea. Jillian Lauren Jones, Fresno, California. Jamal N. Jordan, Laplace, Louisiana. Paige J. Joseph, Donaldsonville, Louisiana. Madison A. Keller, New Orleans, Louisiana. Myra Kuschbacht, Beaufort, Georgia. Jemiah K. Kirkland, Prince George's County, Maryland. Jalen Knotts, Houston, Texas. Cameron Quan Lamb, Houston, Texas. Shayana N. Lanier, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Alexis A. Latham, Compton, California. Arden T. LeBlanc, Violet, Louisiana. Shelby S. Lee, Bowie, Maryland. Malia Joy Lewis, Richardson, Texas. Danja K. Lindsay, Sutland, Maryland. Nicora J. Long, Washington, D.C. Vivian Mutoni Lisanza, Oni, Maryland. Hannah J. Malakan, Hartford, Connecticut. Daniel Alexander, uh, I'm sorry, Daniel Alexa Mans Mana, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Zara Z. Masuo, Knoxville, Virginia. Camila Marinho, Silver Spring, Maryland. Amaya T. Mason, Chicago, Illinois. Maya Trenis Mayfield, Lancaster, South Carolina. Shakira K. Makato, Lawton, Oklahoma. Zion T. McCoy, Suffolk, Virginia. Kobe J. Makarat, 
Pomona, California. Jess Wright Michaels, Lagos State, Nigeria. Amari S. Mitchell. Taylor B. Miller, Snellville, Georgia. Neil N. Mohit, Clement, Florida. Boyani K. Moikobu, Seattle, Washington. Billy Morgan, Oak Park, Michigan. Lorraine Mosby, St. Louis, Missouri. Nakai S. Murdoch, Brooklyn, New York. Michaela Leon Maury, Stockton, California. Sirajui, Mommy Mustafa, Fletchburg, Wisconsin. Donado J. Mary, Spanish Town. Kira Camden, Nevia, Newman, Kentwood, Michigan. Sierra J. Novell, Dayton, Ohio. Chinwe C. Njoku, Houston, Texas. Ajoa Osei Ntasa, Laurel, Maryland. Desiree T. Wanze, Duluth, Georgia. Bernadette O. Nwoye, Montgomery Village, Maryland. Aaron J. Oates, Toluwani D. Odu, Clinton, Maryland. Bolawatito Oladende, Chevy Chase, Maryland. Afia P. Oduro, Accra, Ghana. Chisholm O. Ogwehi, Lagos, Nigeria. Chimeziem Ogwoyo, Prince George's County, Maryland. Olajumoke A. Oladipo. Washington, D.C. Semilore O. Olatunde, Lagos, Nigeria. Mariamu Olumbe, Newark, New Jersey. Fola. Olusaya, Tampa, Florida. Catherine I. Osseri, Bowie, Maryland. Oluwa Fayokemi, O. Oyo Lola, Montgomery County, 
mail lines. Kala Kalaila Luis Pies Barbados. Cleuna M. Parish, Marietta, California. Zoe P. Zoe A. Parker, Houston, Texas. Ayasha Z. T. Peoples, Atlanta, Georgia. Abigail A. Perkins, Taylor Renee Phillips Jones, Aurora, Colorado, Kimberly Alexis Pierre, McDonough, Georgia. Marvin Pierre, Elmont, New York. Sabrina L. Pierre, Rockville, Maryland. Mia M. Pittman. Kelly S. Pollock Thomas. Atlanta, Georgia. Tyrell William Powell, Jamaica, Queens, New York. Sierra Jasmine Reese, Howard County, Maryland. Branaha. L. Rambert, Boston, Massachusetts. Carrie Glenn Robinson, Jr., Ciclaville, New Jersey. Owen M. Rodney, Claridon, Jamaica. William Alexander Jackson Ross III, Atlanta, Georgia. Miss Kel St. Miami, Florida. Maya Maria Senior, Baltimore, Maryland. Sheila Denise Shahid, Baltimore, Maryland. Rajun T. Scott, St. Louis, Missouri. Aaron Lance Sheriff, Boston, Massachusetts. Faith C. Simmons, Jones Creek, Georgia. Alexander Christoph Slaughter, Birmingham, Alabama. Jamaica J. Simmons, Glen Cove, New York. Brittany Kayla Smith, Laurel, Maryland. Jayla Smith, Atlanta, Georgia. Takara N. Smith, Onacock, Virginia. Alia K. Smith, 
Kingston, Jamaica. William Spickman Smith II, St. Augustine, Florida. Sydney Nicole Stevens, Charlotte, North Carolina. Sheila Lorraine Christine Stevenson, Columbus, New Jersey. Lorraine T. Summons, Chicago, Illinois. Tiffany N. Taylor. Ryan Michelle Terry, Hamilton, New Jersey. Asatu F. Thiam, North Potomac, Maryland. Zach A. Thomas, Keep Me Court House, New Jersey. Abhishek Tibatla. Ariel M. Tolliver, New Orleans, Louisiana. Ziana Zian A. Traore, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Jasmine Totsi, Chicago, Illinois. Aikan Grace Udolpha, Rochester, New York. Cameron Lee Walker, San Jose, California. Makia Walker, Branditon, Florida. Nina Iman Wallace, Raleigh, North Carolina. Peyton Talifaro Watkins, Woodstock, Georgia. Michaela Janine Watson, St. Louis, Missouri. Maya Wells, St. Louis, Missouri. Joshua J. West. Alexandra Simon Donaldson Williams, Memphis, Tennessee. Vanessa J. Williams, Trenton, New Jersey. Ayana Arrow Woods, Chola Vista, California. Rilal Jamil Yasin, Northern Virginia. Madam Chair, herein ends the reading of the names of graduates from the Department of Biology. Thank you, doctors McKenna and Aripo. Again, congratulations to all of you on a job well done. Now, go forth and continue to be great. Thank you again. Back to you, Dr. Davis. Additions to the Department of Biology. Imani Sarita Elliott, 
biology major, chemistry minor from Detroit, Michigan. Lauren Evelyn Fuller, biology major, chemistry minor, summa cum laude. Karen Pauline McFarlane, biology major, chemistry minor, Silver Spring, Maryland. Ayan Diamond Thompson, biology major, chemistry minor. I'm sitting in for the Department of Chemistry. Rikia Bernard. Ariana Simone Boyd. Kyria Oni Brown. Angelica Elizabeth Carr. Briani Alexa Carter. Bria Ariane Criar. Makara Fuller. Mark E. Gorham II. Amal I. Hutchinson. Ibukunalua I. Ibrahim. Crystal Grace Johnson. Mary N. Kamau. Tanda B. Lamb. Ashley Nicole Medley, the Department of Chemistry, Daniel Andrew, chaired by Dr. Charles Hoston, Shelby Shannon Peterkin, Kiara Robinson, Kimosabi Jr., Marquia Ashanti Walker. Courtney May Wallace, Taylor M. Ward, Garicia B. Woods, addition to the Department of Chemistry, Iteolu Wakishi H. Gamu, Chemistry and Biology double major, summa cum laude, from Baltimore, Maryland. Now in the Department of Health, Human Performance, and Leisure Studies, chaired by Professor Deborah Johnson. My name is Deborah Johnson, and I'm welcoming the candidates from the Department of Health, Human Performance, and Leisure Studies. Raheem Abbas. Opal Lue. Abiana Jada Abrams Joy Adiwe Brendel Allen Khadija Anderson Steve and Lucy Bianca Bestine Stevie Ann Bertram, Trevor Brown Jr., Keyshawn Carter, Dejanay Coley, Zion Cousins, Ajane Davis, Chad Elizabeth. Evans, Brianna Evering, Ephany Ize, Jaquez Izar, Kiana Flood, Ty Freeland, Jackson Fuller, Hannah Garnett, Shamur Gordon, Kia Hagley, Sinzia Hall, Nia Hayden, Alexis Herbert, Quinlan Highsmith, Jordan Holder. Yasmin Hooper, 
Malik Hyatt, Anastasia Brianna Jackson, Anastasia DeAndre Jackson, Brandon Johnson, Peyton Kitchen Reed, London Ladd, Jamie Lafarga De La Cruz, Tonda Lamb, Alexander Lee, Tyree Leonard, Amir Lewis, Sean Lewis, Janella Maloney, Kayla Mandeville, Gabriella Martin, Sydney Martin, Jared Mason, Nia Mays, Colin McDonald, Rijan McKinley, Charla Morgan, Kajedo Morrison, Olivia Mullen, Anton Murray, James Newell, Christian Nicholas, Jennifer Endozi, Nigel Nolan, Alexis Noel, Priscilla Oki, Justin Olbrice, Jadira Onyuanka, Abdul Olifeso, Mia Parker, Nia Carol Parker, Cedric Parson, Nana Hokua, Diana Potter, Parency Reed, Jacqueline Donnell Rich, Leanna Robin, Ozuma Scott, Hassan Sharif, Jillian Spence, Giovanni Stewart, Jamia Templeton, Shamar Thompson, Jayla Thornton, Jordine Tucker, Nicholas Turk, Doris Upchurch, Nina Wallace, Jade Walters, Kayla Whitfield, Anna Williams, Michaela Williams, Sidril Williams, and Terry Young. Congratulations to the graduates. And now the Department of Mathematics, chaired by Dr. Burama Tony. Hi. I'm Borama Tony, Chairman of the Department of Mathematics. I'm here today with the great pleasure to announce the candidate for graduation in the Department of Mathematics at Howard University. Grace Adu. Mathematics major, Sudarshan Fashial. Mathematics major, Suma Cum Laude. Sabrina Tessa Francis. Mathematics major, Health Education minor, Suma 
cum laude. Antonique of Mathematic Major, Seben Gair, Mathematic Major, Summa cum laude. Ethan Lorenzo, Mathematic Major, LeSean Tiffany Artman, Mathematic Major, Magna Cum Laude, Christina McBean, Mathematic and Physics Double Major, Summa Cum Laude, Kinesia McTyre, Mathematic Major, Jeffrey Mim Jr., Mathematic Major Cum Laude, Ashley Oaks, Mathematic and Economic Double Major, Magna Cum Laude, Horace Pocarell, Mathematic and Physics Double Major, Magna Cum Laude, Bipul Pudial, Mathematic and Physics, Double Major, Summa Cum Laude, My Lamar Raynor, Mathematic Major, Sarah Rufael, Mathematic Major, Summa Cum Laude, Keith Jordan, Andrew Wilkinson, Mathematic and physics double major, magna cum laude. Congratulations to each and every one of you. With our best wishes personally and uh, on behalf of the Mar department. Next is the Department of Physics and Astronomy, chaired by Dr. Quentin Williams. Congratulations to the class of 2021, and a special congratulations to graduates who've earned a Bachelor of Science degree in physics from the Department of Physics and Astronomy. The degree awardees are Joycelyn Maribel Farmer, Christina A. McBean, Paras Pokero, Beeple Podiel, Ajani Barak Smith Washington and Keith Jordan Wilkinson. Congratulations, class of 2021. And we conclude the natural sciences with the Department of Psychology, chaired by Dr. Deborah Roberts. Greetings, everyone. I'm Dr. Deborah Roberts, chair of the Department of Psychology. On behalf of our faculty, I'm delighted to present the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree in psychology. Halima Abukar, Teja Ari Al Faruqi, Ismail Allison, Emmett Basuk Ames, Kendall Patricia Anderson. Sayorsha Anderson, Jaden Austin, Zakia Emily Austin, Barbara Bard, Michelle Victoria Lauren Basden, Joshua I. Belbay. Essence, Evelyn Anissa Blake. Malik Lefford Bolden. Olivia Blanc. Gianna Dior Bonner. Diamond Aria Maisie Braswell. Aliyah. Jamisha Brown, Stephanie Brown, Alea Z. Campbell, 
Chelsea Ashley Campbell. Kelan Casamejo. Janae Anita Sedell. Morgan Page Clift. Paris Janae Colbert. Rachel Lee Coleman. Pearl Mawena Afua Damanka. Danielle Michelle Daniels. Megan Marie Catherine Derenicourt. Brittany Cleopatra Diamond. Kaylin Adara Dixon. Cameron Ryan Emery. Marion I. Foster. Alexandria Lisa Frank. Shania Emery Emily Fraser. Tatiana Josephine Gamble. Kiori Gathers. Valerie Nicole Gibson. Bria A. Glover. Adia Preston Gomes. Shania U. Green Gordon. Sierra Dorian Hall. Alsha Harris. Janae Harris. Kaleli Bright Patterson Harris. Rizia Renee Hayes. Acacia Lene Hines. Destiny Marie Holmes. Brittany Michelle Hopkins. Taylor Marie Irving. Diamond Alexis Izzard. Kaysia A. Jackson. Montasia Joanna James. Audrey L. James. Jalen Azuri Jarman. Oluwatofunmi. Omatola Jayola. Tia Madison Jolivet. Camille Amadi King. Samaj Kia Lachea. Jana Amy Labert. Alexia Joy Lemus. Victoria Alexis Levy. Alexi Jade Liu. Diamond Aria J. 
Maisie Braswell, Nina McFall, Quavon Darkreath, Jakaria Midget, Regine Miller, Taylor Brianna Miller, Kevin Monsalve, Faith Alexandria Morris, Lauren A. Morris, Alexis Simone Newberry, Akila LaShawn Nicholas, Sean Xavier Northern, Ashley A. Ntekin, Janique Elise Udlam Lansicourt, Jade Alexia Rian Pinnock, Kayla Alana Polania, Amber Lynn Price, Kira L. N. Randolph. Imani K. Redu. Aliyah Jade Sawyer. Olivia Imani Hope Siklet. Kyle Thompson Sleas. Katie Marie Stanley. Kiara Tate. Donovan Ashton Taylor. Caitlin Elise Thomas. Lauren Thomas. Benjamin Tyus. Shannon Alexandra Vaz. Ukiah Watson. Kennedy Simone Weaver. Austin Webster. Tanzania and Tori Williams. Myra B. Williamson. Abigail Waldium Lack. Donald Andrew Wrench. Graduates, we are so proud of all that you've accomplished. Congratulations, class of 2021. Addition to the Department of Psychology, Regine C. Miller, psychology major, sociology minor, magna cum laude, Memphis, Tennessee. Dr. Thomas Foster, associate dean for the social sciences, will greet the prospective graduates in that division. Dr. Foster. Thank you, Dr. Davis. It's my honor to congratulate the class of 2021 
students from the Division of Social Sciences. We honor you and we celebrate your accomplishments. All the best to you. Congratulations. We begin with the Department of African Studies, chaired by Dr. Mohamed Kamara. On behalf of the faculty in the Department of African Studies, we would like to give a hearty congratulations to our very own Udeme Afia. We wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Next is the Department of Afro-American Studies, chaired by Dr. Gregory Carr. Welcome to the class of 2021 in the College of Arts and Sciences at Howard University and especially welcome to the family and friends of the graduates of the historic Department of Afro-American Studies, one of the country's oldest and largest. We celebrate each of you individually, and we know that collectively we'll see each other again soon in person, but you'll be graduates. So let's celebrate the graduates. Brittany Lynette Akers, Kayla Nicole Janelle, Andrews, Sienna Elise Ben, Chelsea Ashley Campbell, Morgan Lauren Chavers, Sydney Autumn Coleman, Ayana Felix, Zephaniah Rachel Chicole Galloway. Brooklyn Hardeman, Lyric Hathaway, Asan Hawkins, Ua P. Hayes, Janae D. Hazel, Neera Hayden, Melick Henderson, Aaliyah T. Hill. Ayana M. Jackson, Alexis Matthews, Nia Lois Mays, Kela McQuarters, Farron Darshell Miller, India Pritchett, Brittany Samuels, and Cheyenne Sims. Again, congratulations. We'll see you again physically and soon. Stay safe, stay protected. Much peace and love to everyone. We now move to the Department of Economics, chaired by Dr. Omari Swinton. Hello, my name is Dr. Omari H. Swinton, and I'm the chair and the director of graduate studies for the Department of Economics. It is with great pleasure that I am going to announce the prospective graduates for the Department of Economics. Tony R. Anthony. Sherry A. Ansui. Henry Joris. A. Asagbidi, Sadursen Bashar, Jared Brooms, Bryce A. Fungley, Alexandra Jordan Green, Jordan Greer, Matthew A. Hayden. Denise Y. Johnson. Taya Desiree Johnson. Jeffrey T. Mims, Jr. Alexa Nicole Nelson. Ramsey C. Nocolo. Similar Olatunde. Corbin L. Otten, Lauren Rachel Roberts, Adeyanju Royer, Charlea M. Santiago, Emery K. P. Simon, Ajani B. 
Smith, Washington. Idolis I. Sosa. Sydney Marie Taylor. Nijon K. Washington. Tiffany W. Waters. Nigel Woodard. Isaiah D. Wool. And Kayla York. Congratulations. Next in line is the Department of History, chaired by Dr. Nikki Taylor. My name is Dr. Nikki Taylor, and I am here to announce the candidates for graduation in the esteemed and highly ranked Department of History. Brianna Lauren Britton. Paris Janae Colbert. Sydney Autumn Coleman, Devin Joseph Guardino, Lanai Taylor Huddleston, Taya Johnson, Bishop William Lawton, Daniela Antoinette Taylor, Junius Levi Whitaker IV. Best wishes, history graduates. Now, the Department of Political Science, chaired by Dr. Ravi Perry. On behalf of the faculty in the Department of Political Science, it is my distinct pleasure to congratulate the class of 2020 and the class of 2021 political science graduates. Congratulations. Kirsten E. Alexander, political science major, magna cum laude from Cleveland, Ohio. Tristan O'Brien Emerson, political science major from Sunrise, Florida. Tori Brianna Anderson, political science major, psychology minor, magna cum laude from Horn Lake, Mississippi. Shiri Asengawi, political science and economics double major, summa cum laude from Cameroon. Laura Andre Askew, political science major, media journalism, film and communications minor from Pickerington, Ohio. Kim Austin, political science major, magna cum laude. Owosu Beku, political science major, sociology minor, summa cum laude from Aswam, Ghana. Nadia Amanda Blair, political science major, Sociology minor, summa cum laude from Houston, Texas. Raven Janae Bletza, political science major from Chino Hills, California. Sierra Gail Boyd, political science major from Columbia, Maryland. Michaela C. Brailsford, political science major, criminology minor from Winecott, Pennsylvania. Jada Selena Brand, political science major and criminology double major, summa cum laude from Joliet, Illinois. Christina Valeria Brantley, political science major from Jonesboro, Georgia. Jared Christopher Brooms, political science major, strategic legal management minor, magna cum laude from Lansdowne, Pennsylvania. Imani K. Bryant, Political science major, sociology minor, magna cum laude from Atlanta, Georgia. Josia Letha Brandt, Bryant, political science major, strategic legal management minor, summa cum laude from New York, New York. Kristen Nicole Butler, political science major, history minor from Mount Rainier, Maryland. Ania M. Kennedy. Political science major, strategic legal and management communication minor, cum laude from Houston, Texas. Donovan Judah Carter, political science and Spanish double major from Waxhaw, North Carolina. Anisera Pierre Charles, political science major, business administration minor, cum laude from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Morgan Lauren Shavers, 
political science and African American studies double major, magna cum laude from St. Louis, Missouri. Kevin G. Chisholm, political science major, magna cum laude. Haley Sarah Elizabeth Collins, political science major, African American studies minor, magna cum laude from Hamden, Connecticut. Sarah I. Cook, political science major, economics minor, summa cum laude from Cincinnati, Ohio. Adia Cummings, political science and criminology double major from Conway, Arkansas. Ashe Damali Coutino, political science major, strategic legal management communications minor, magna cum laude from Union, New Jersey. Amani Dabney, political science major, cum laude from Atlanta, Georgia. Jessica Elizabeth Daniels, political science major, criminology minor, magna cum laude from Chicago, Illinois. Natalia Deshea Davis, political science and philosophy double major, magna cum laude from Canton, Mississippi. Gabani E. Diggs, political science major, cum laude from Springfield, New York. Rachelle Damond, political science and economics double major, summa cum laude from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. David Lee Egerton III, political science major, strategic legal management communications minor, magna cum laude from St. Paul, Minnesota. Miles C. Ezilio, political science major, economics minor, magna cum laude from Atlanta, Georgia. Lauren Ann Flowers, political science major, African American studies minor, magna cum laude from Windsor, Connecticut. Deja Brianna Fountain, political science major, African American studies minor from Shetlandham, Pennsylvania. Marley D. Ford, political science and Spanish double major, summa cum laude from Baltimore, Maryland. Ashley Ray Foster, political science major, sociology and military double minor, cum laude from Brooklyn, New York. Warren L. Fuslier, political science major, African American studies minor, summa cum laude from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Zephaniah R. C. Shakol Galloway, political science and African American studies double major, Arabic and classical civilizations minor, magna cum laude from Euclid, Ohio. Tyler Williams Gentry, political science major, military science minor, magna cum laude from Reno, Nevada. Brittany J. Goddard, political science and Spanish double major from Atlanta, Georgia. Zari Sophia Gordon, political science major, cum laude from Evanston, Illinois. Alexandria Gordon Green, political science and economics double major, cum laude from Richmond, Texas. Nika Albizu Green, political science major from Cleveland, Ohio. Abigail Don Marie Hall, political science major, strategic legal management communications minor, summa cum laude from Atlanta, Georgia. Caitlin A. Harris, political science and English double major, cum laude from Little Rock, Arkansas. Zoe Valerie Ellen Haynes, political science major, biology and chemistry double minor, summa cum laude from Smithfield, North Carolina. Austin A. Henderson, political science major, history minor, cum laude from Atlanta, Georgia. Lysandra Lynette Hill, political science major, theater arts minor, cum laude from Bloomfield, Connecticut. Joy Elise Gabrielle Howard, political science major, biology and chemistry double minor from Atlanta, Georgia. Morgan Elizabeth Hopkins, political science major, magna cum laude from Chicago, Illinois. Rachel Howell, political science major, philosophy minor, summa cum laude from Alpharetta, Georgia. Kennedy Tay Hunter, political science major, Spanish minor, cum laude. Taya Elaine Jones, political science major, Mandarin and community development double minor from Chicago, Illinois. Udufa E. Kadiri, political science major, psychology minor, summa cum laude from Nigeria. Alhassane Kante, political science major, sociology minor, magna cum laude from Tacoma Park, Maryland. Morgan Danielle King, 
political science major, African American studies minor, magna cum laude from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Emily G. Laflame, political science major, magna cum laude from Wixom, Michigan. Ryan Lake, political science major, magna cum laude from Muffreesboro, Tennessee. Nyla Lampkin, political science major, summa cum laude from Chicago, Illinois. Callista Siana Lawrence, political science major from Middletown, Delaware. Tommy J.B. Lawrence, political science major, secondary education minor, cum laude from Adelanto, California. Taylor Lawson, political science major, secondary education minor, magna cum laude from Long Island, New York. Kayla Michelle Lennon, political science and sociology double major, summa cum laude from Cincinnati, Ohio. Kelsey D. Lennox, political science major, sports management and sports administration double minor from Nashville, Tennessee. Genesis A. Lewis, political science and psychology double major. Tyler A. Lewis, political science major, sociology minor, magna cum laude from Atlanta, Georgia. Peter Lumbumbela, political science major, sociology minor from Denver, Colorado. Aramat Friend Match, political science major, African American studies minor from New Rochelle, New York. Tamia K. Matlock, political science major from Chicago, Illinois. Gabrielle K. Matz Carter, political science major, French minor, summa cum laude from Kirkland, Washington. Galen Alphronique McGee, political science major, criminology minor from Ida Bena, Mississippi. Kayla Michelle McCorders, political science and African American studies double major, summa cum laude from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Baron D. Miller, political science and African American studies double major, summa cum laude from Bossier City, Louisiana. Sydney Montgomery, political science and sociology double major, strategic legal communications management minor, magna cum laude from Chino Hills, California. Asia Monet Moore, political science major, Spanish minor from Chicago, Illinois. J. Justice Morgan, political science and English double major, summa cum laude. Darlene Pope Singwe, political science major, sociology minor, magna cum laude from Charlotte, North Carolina. Rashid Isaac Muhammad, political science and Spanish double major, summa cum laude. Alexia Nicole Nelson, political science and economics double major, African American studies minor from Memphis, Tennessee. Mabel Mahebi Ogagafor, political science major, psychology minor from Brooklyn, New York. Zipporah F. Olakani, political science major, criminology minor, magna cum laude from Teaneck, New Jersey. Onotse A. Omoyeni, political science and philosophy double major, summa cum laude from Lowell, Massachusetts. Obolade A. Oyetunji, political science major, history and strategic legal management communications double minor from Pembroke Pines, Florida. Joshua Noah Phillips, political science major, history minor, summa cum laude from Hackensack, New Jersey. Kendall M. Pointer, political science major, community development minor from Shelby, Mississippi. Kevin Angelo Randall, political science major, psychology minor from Memphis, Tennessee. William Kevin Reed II, political science major, community development minor, summa cum laude from Charlotte, North Carolina. Elvira Rivera, criminology major, psychology minor from Bronx, New York. Chloe Kiana Marone Robinson, political science major, magna cum laude from Memphis, Tennessee. David Nathaniel Robinson Jr., political science major, photography minor, magna cum laude from Orlando, Florida. Amina O. Sanusi, 
political science major, criminology minor, summa cum laude from Seattle, Washington. Paduma M. Shuri, political science major, economics minor, magna cum laude. Amaya Shaw, political science major, cum laude from Wilmington, North Carolina. Dion J. Smith, political science major, magna cum laude. Eric Alfonso Smith II, political science major, history minor from Mitchellville, Maryland. Erica Alexis Smith, political science major, psychology minor, summa cum laude from Houston, Texas. Serena Andrea Sore, political science major, philosophy minor, summa cum laude from Los Angeles, California. Alexander J. Stevens political science major from Baltimore, Maryland. Cassidy Ann Strong, political science major, history minor, magna cum laude from Wake Forest, North Carolina. Lulu China Sincom, political science major, magna cum laude from Brooklyn, New York. Deanna Raquel Taylor, political science major, criminology minor from Louisville, Kentucky. Samaya J. Taylor, political science major, sociology minor, cum laude from Newark, New Jersey. Madison Jewel Thibault, political science and English double major, summa cum laude from Lafayette, Louisiana. Brooke Thomas, political science major, sports administration minor from Detroit, Michigan. Sarah Ruth Irene Thorne, political science major, African-American studies minor, summa cum laude. Dwayne Alexander Warren, political science major, African-American studies minor from Orange, New Jersey. Nijon K. Washington, political science and economics double major, magna cum laude from Baltimore, Maryland. Jalen McCall Watson, political science major, Administration of Justice minor, magna cum laude from Miami, Florida. Gianni Carter Whiteside, political science and Spanish double major, magna cum laude from Marietta, Georgia. Tara Nicole Wilkins, political science major, African American studies minor, magna cum laude from Jackson, New Jersey. Alexandra Josephine Williams, political science major, psychology minor from Atlanta, Georgia. Sierra M. Williams, political science major from Nashville, Tennessee. Clark Samantha Williams, political science major from Joppa, Maryland. Sophia Daphne Williams, Political science major, Russian minor, cum laude from Westbrook, Maine. Polashade Wilson, political science major, human development minor from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Nigel Woodards, political science and economics double major, magna cum laude from Sterling Heights, Michigan. Diamond A. Yancey. Political science major, magna cum laude from Charlotte, North Carolina. Kayla E. York, political science major and economics double major, cum laude from Oak Park, Illinois. Addition to the Department of Political Science, Jasmine C. Smith, political science major, strategic legal and management communication minor. And we end with the Department of Sociology and Criminology, chaired by Dr. Terry Adams. Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Adams, the interim chair of the Department of Sociology and Criminology. On behalf of the department, I would like to extend our heartfelt congratulations to all of our graduates. We are always proud of our students who work earnestly to complete their degrees, but we are particularly proud of you this year for reaching this milestone in spite of a worldwide pandemic. If you can succeed under these conditions, you have to know that there is absolutely nothing that you cannot do. Your future 
is extremely bright. Now, and I will share the names of each of our graduating seniors. Maya Angelique Abrams. Michaela Akum. Yasmin Allen. Ty Andrew Amrat West. Sienna Elise Ben. Paige Bentham. Jada Brand. Jayla Brooks. Deanna Latrice Brown. Tamisha Brown. Whitney Brown. Alea Campbell. Akua Campbell. Kayla Clark. Hadia Cummings, Elena Lynn Davis, Zaina Ashanti Davis, Benny Diaz, Lauren Simone Farley, Niara Ford, Jada Marie Francis, Ayana Godbold, Malik Hakeem Gordon, Kiana Renee Jackson, Sydney Simone Jenkins, Tara Johnson, Kayla Michelle Lennon, Sierra Lopez, Carmita Lucien, Jamisa Michelle Menos, Mackenzie McSwan, Christopher Millet, Yasmin Monique. Mitchell, Asmara Montgomery, Sydney Montgomery, Kirsten Renee Moore, Danielle Annette Morales, Kayla Lene Morton, Ojina Onungagwa, Desiree Lynn Parker, Kendall Parker, Justine Alexandria Rainford, Elvira Riviera, Noel Simone Shaw, Imani Shell, Sharice. Simpson, Kendron, Stakowska, Fatima, Dior, Tall, Jasmine, Taylor, Matthew, Brandon, Taylor, Macy, Thomas, Imani, Walton. Ashanti Fiona Ware, Rochelle Warren, Alexandria Wheeler, Julie Williams, Aaliyah Willis, Simone Wright. Congratulations to each and every one of you. We end with three special acknowledgments of students. First, Dr. Daniel Williams, director of the college's honors program, will present honors program graduates. 
My name is Daniel Williams, and I'm director of the College of Arts and Sciences Honors Program. The capstone of experience of students in the program is to complete a senior thesis, an activity which is beyond what is required of other graduates. In a pandemic, it takes a lot of extra drive and motivation, motivation to complete this task. And yet we had a record number of students in this class complete this project. 58. Although we had a ceremony for the students yesterday evening, replete with pictures and acknowledgement of their faculty mentors, today I'd like to present these students by name to the college. So without further ado, these graduates are Ashley Achone, Comfort Yitunde Adeboye, Alexandria Adun, Adigam, Yasmin Allen, Ilana Aquil, Kim Austin, Keila Bakari, Dayer Bartholomew, Sienna Alice Ben, Ladia Blair, Taylor or Gelt, Imani Bryant, Galande Casmajor, Cameron Clanton, Sydney Coleman, Shalom Entner, Ayana Fowler, Alexandria Frank, Warren Fusulir, Sabin Gare, Bria Galt Clover, Ayani Godbo, Nadia Green, Morgan Hopkins, Nilu Lamkin, Bishop Lawton, Jana Lebert, Sierra Lopez, Gabriel Max Carter, Christina McBean, Farron Miller, Sydney Montgomery, Jade Morgan, Keila Morgan, Siraju Mustafa, Rashid Muhammad, Cohn, Nisangandi, Jennifer Nadozi, Ramsey Wokolu, Olufulakami, Olusanya, Joa Jose Natanza, Abolade. Oye Tungji, Joshua Phillips, Taylor Phillips Jones, Jade Pinnock, Sheila Shahid, Maya Lewis Shedd, Faith Simmons, Jamaica Simmons, Simmons. Sydney Stevens, China Lolu Sinka, Madison Thibault, Macy Thomason, Zach Thomas, or this Macy Thompson, Zach Thompson, Thomas, Ashley Tusana. Dupre Walker, Nina Wallace, Jalen Watson. Congratulations to the class of Honors Program graduates 2021. Now, the presentation of commissioned students, first by Lieutenant Colonel Redalia Person, ROTC Air Force. She will be followed by Lieutenant Colonel Crayonta West, ROTC Army. 
On behalf of Howard University's Air Force ROTC Detachment 130, I am Lieutenant Colonel Redalia Person, Professor of Aerospace Science. And it is my great honor and pleasure to announce the candidates selected to commission as second lieutenants into the United States Air Force. Second Lieutenant Mahalia Edwards, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Systems and Data Processing. That Edwards has been selected to be a Combat Systems Operator. Second Lieutenant Chad Elizabeth Evans, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Human Physiology and has been selected to be an Aircraft Maintenance Officer. Second Lieutenant Avery Johnson, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in mechanical engineering, and he has been selected to be a cyber space operations officer. Second Lieutenant Cameron Lamb, graduating as a distinguished graduate from Air Force ROTC. She received a Bachelor of Science in Biology and will, has been selected to be a force support officer. Second Lieutenant Tyler Williams Gentry, graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Political Science and has been selected to be a Cyberspace Operations Officer. On behalf of Howard's Army ROTC Department, we would like to congratulate the following newly commissioned Army officers. Second Lieutenant Kayla Fahey is graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Health Management, Branch, Ordnance, Component, Active Duty, Second Lieutenant Giovanni Stewart is graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Sports Medicine, Branch, Chemical, Component, United States Army Reserves. Second Lieutenant Matthew Taylor is a distinguished military graduate, graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Criminal Justice, Branch, Infantry, Component, Active Duty. Second Lieutenant Dalen K. Stubbs is graduating with a Bachelor's of Arts in Supply Chain Management, Branch, Ordinance, Component, Active Duty. Second Lieutenant Ellington Brown is graduating with a Bachelor's of Science in Pre-Med with a minor in Chemistry, Branch, Transportation, Component, United States Army Reserves. Second Lieutenant Sierra Michelle Sims is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Public Relations, Branch, Military Police, Component, National Guard. Second Lieutenant Benjamin Tyus is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Branch, Military Police, Component, National Guard. And last, Second Lieutenant Morgan Wells is graduating with a Bachelor's of Nursing, Branch, Nursing Corps, Component, United States Army Reserves. Congratulations for a job well done. Signaling the end of this celebratory event, we will listen to our alma mater. You can sing along if you wish. <laughs>
benediction. The word benediction is derived from the Latin for good words or sayings as we depart. As a culturalist, I always recognize that there are different types of believers in the almighty powers, but we all believe in some manifestations of an overall protective being or authority who rules over our spiritual lives. May you all be protected and highly favored by your protector. I bid you farewell. Good afternoon.